Okay, we. Have, uh, fairly straightforward problems from the quiz. We got the equation. x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. In order to solve this, we factor. Now we bit over the uh, techniques of factoring. You just try all possibilities if it's not obvious to you. And this one might be fairly obvious. And we get the factored form of this expression equal to 0. So, x plus 5 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. And we easily solve both of these equations to get x equals negative 5 or x equals 1. And we could write the solution set as set negative 5, 1. And we could even graph that solution set on an x-axis. So here's the axis, here's 0. And here's, let's say over here is uh, negative 5. Over here is 1. So these two dots would represent your solution. Then we have this one. Okay. Now I forgot to put the words if possible on the instructions. I said solve by factoring. I meant to say solve by factoring if possible. Because this one isn't possible. Uh, at least not with integers. As a matter of fact, not even with real numbers. Uh, it does factor over complex numbers, as any polynomial does, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Except I will show you. Okay. Uh, e is the quadratic formula. It comes out pretty straightforward. But, um, okay, so. You can try 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 5. Okay, well, you're going to have a negative 6x and a negative 10x. That would give you this. So that doesn't work. And there's, you, you could also try two x minus one and two x minus 15. But that's even worse. Okay, that gives you uh, negative, well, it gives you uh, 4x squared minus 31x plus 15. No. Okay. Then you can try 4x uh, minus 3 times x minus 5. But you multiply that out using this derivative law, you're going to get 4x squared minus 23x plus 15, no way. And you try other possibilities. Well, you try 4x minus 5 times x minus 3, but that equals 4x squared minus 17x plus 15, which is not good. Etc. Well, nothing works. Okay. It won't factor with integers. Now, the quadratic formula
Three solutions are x equals 11 plus or minus the square root of 11 squared minus 4 times 4 times 15 over 2 times 4. When you evaluate this square root, you get a negative number because 4 times 15 is 60. That times 4 is 240. 11 squared is only 121. And you get that negative 119. Okay? So this thing does have solutions, but they're complex numbers. You can write that as 11 eighths plus or minus. times i. So there are solutions, but they're not real numbers. Well, I don't want to go too far into that idea. Uh, there's more I could do with that, but I'm not going because that's enough. Just showing that there are solutions, you just can't find them this way, which is usually the case for polynomials or quadratic expressions that you get in the real world. Factoring is pretty useless, except for understanding some things about polynomials and quadratic functions, and it is useful for that. Okay. Now we have. Uh, x squared minus 5x minus 24 over 3x minus 3 times x plus 3. And we're supposed to factor and simplify. Now by factor, that means factor everything can be factored, okay? Well, this factors into x minus 8 times x plus 3 and your denominator remains the same. Well, this is x minus 8 over x minus 3 times x plus 3 over x plus 3 And that's x minus 8 over x minus 3 times 1. Why is this 1? It's 1 because you're dividing something by itself. You're dividing an expression by itself. An expression goes one time into itself because one times the expression is itself. This is then x minus 8 over x minus 3. And another one. Here we have it. And now we have to factor both the numerator and the denominator, if possible. Well, the numerator is going to be x minus 5 times x plus 2. The denominator is going to be x plus 1 times x plus 2. And again, that can be written as x minus 5 over x plus 1 times x plus 2 over x plus 2, which is x minus 5 over x plus 1 times 1, which is x minus 5 over x plus 1. And I really want you to write all this out. I don't want to see cancellation. Okay? I mean, this is cancellation, but people almost universally 
misuse cancellation. They do it when it doesn't apply. They just cross things out and go on with their lives, and it's all wrong. Okay? Sometimes it's right, but uh, there, there's no reliability to it. Um, now, if you get down to this correctly, okay. If you do one wrong cancellation, the whole problem's wrong, no partial credit. Okay? So don't risk cancellation. Use the rules. Okay? The rules of work, which is get the expression over itself by factoring, and then set it equal to one, and then simplify. Okay. That's fairly straightforward. People did pretty well on the uh, open math assignment. So I assume they understand how to use factoring to solve equations and then how to factor rational expressions. These are called rational expressions, okay?